we'd like to introduce you to the Varroa mite. Well, to be precise, we'd like to introduce you to millions of Varroa mites. Why so many? Well, when it comes to the Varroa mite, there's no such thing as just one. And if you'd like to see how an infestation starts, you need to look no further than your own bees, especially drones, as they're pretty social and like to travel between hives. Since Varroa mites don't have any wings of their own, they slip into hives by hitching a ride on the backs of adult bees. And for the lucky mite, the trip includes an in-flight meal, as Varroa mites will begin feeding on honeybees' fat body tissue within a few minutes of clinging to the bee. Once they've entered the hive, Varroa mites slip undetected into the vulnerable, uncapped brood cells. This is where the mites lay in wait until the bees cap the brood. Once a cell is capped, the mother mite, like a tiny spider, climbs atop the cocoon of the developing bee, tears open a hole, and begins to feed on its fat body tissue. Within three days, the mother mite lays her first egg, which always develops into a male. Then, she lays one female egg every 30 hours over the next week or so in her newly acquired home under the brood cap. And as each of these female mites mature, they mate with their brother. By the time the baby bee develops and leaves its infested cell, as many as three fertilized mites will emerge with it, and the cycle continues. Using this strategy, the Varroa mite population can grow as fast as the bee population it feeds on. But when summer ends and the bee population declines, the hive is left with a huge mite population, and that's dangerous. Too many mites in a hive will overwhelm and kill entire bee colonies. So what does that mean for everyone's favorite insect, the honeybee? Well, honeybee colonies with heavy mite infestations can't effectively pollinate or produce honey because they suffer from diseases and viruses transmitted by the mites. In fact, honeybees suffer from as many as 20 different mite-induced viruses, including the devastating deformed wing virus, which prevents them from flying. If you want to give your honeybees a fighting chance against Varroa mites, it's time to introduce your bees to Nod's Organic Mite Treatments. To learn more about Nod's Certified Organic Varroa Mite Treatments, visit our website at nodglobal.com. Connect with Nod and beekeepers around the world by following us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.